this is prime series x670 motherboard we recently upgraded the pc and we need to reinstall the windows so as you can see on my hand this is windows 11 bootable usb first of all you should have one if you don't know how to create one you can check the video link could be in the description or you can just visit microsoft site and just type windows 11 installer and they're going to give you the piece of software that you can build it so first of all i'm going to connect it once i connect the usb i'm going to get back to the keyboard and keep pressing f2 to get into bios so we're going to keep doing it until you get into bios here you go so that's the main page there are a couple of different illustration here this is called edge mode as you can see here it shows the fans are spinning at the bottom the graphical things and on the right hand side the boot priority and also it says the model number on the top which is prime x670-p okay but if you press f7 or if you get into the right hand side at the bottom of the screen we can click here and it's going to give you advanced mode okay if you receive anything unexpected on the screen just press yes he wants to get back to the previous menu so as you can see here there are a couple of sub menus main advanced monitor boot tool exit and other stuff so first we're going to get into main and from here there is nothing to do even on the security it's not secure boot in here so we can just press yes he wants go back to advanced option from here what you're going to do we're going to change a couple of major settings here so as you can see that's the one ftpm we're going to keep it enable this is um, good for windows 11 yeah. okay it's a smooth configuration and then we're going to get into usb configuration from here legacy option we can leave it auto in that way it's not going to give any sort of error either if you install in uefi or legacy so you're going to keep those settings for usb like that okay now we're going to press esc once to go back to the back menu and from here we're going to check all those settings set a configuration a tpm like that you know and there is one final settings that we need to change which is called secure boot so advanced option are fine now i'm just going to double check if there is anything else now we're going to click on boot menu from here as you can see the secure boot is here so we're going to keep the csm disabled remember it whenever you make uefi enable secure boot enable csm has to be disabled so from here as you can see secure boot mode we're going to put windows uefi mode now if you don't see that option and if you find anything is called windows 10 then choose otherwise otherwise windows uefi mode selection should be fine okay and then secure boot mode we can leave it standard or you can do custom but i always do prefer standard one and pretty much that's all now i can see my usb stick in there which is says as you can see kingstone data traveler that's the one you know and we're gonna go to exit it we're gonna save changes and reset it and now it's going to restart and when it's going to restart it's going to load up from the bootable usb stick from here it's pretty simple we're going to accept the terms and condition we're going to choose the internal ssd what you would like to install the windows and then we're going to hit next we're going to format the drive and hit next and that should load up windows 11 without any issue so now hit next from here we're going to say we don't have you can choose whatever you'd like to choose i'm going to go for the first option accept the terms and condition choose the bottom option now here is the single drive okay so in that stage be careful before we delete or format the partition make sure 
you back up your data. Otherwise, you're going to lose all the existing data that you have in your internal, that's just your hard drive. As you can see, it's not allowing, so I'm going to delete the partition. So if there is any corruption, it's going to be clear and it's going to be ready to go. Now from here, it's pretty simple. It's going to copy all the files and folder to the necessary directory and then everything would be fine. So let's carry on.